All right, what is up, guys? What is up? I'm gonna wait a little bit for some people to hop on. This is gonna be an exciting one, okay? I am excited. Hang on, I'm gonna balance this. We're gonna wait for some people to hop on. Make sure to flood the chats. <laughs> nice one said first. You're first, you are first. Jevster, Vladimir, Anthony, Rashar, Fritz Nolberry, Balst, the baller dude, Cheyenne. Oh, what is up guys? What is up, Dylan? What's up my man? Ray, Alex, Sir, Suraj, can't pronounce your name. <laughs> Top Call of Duty moments. What is up, guys? One sec, hang on. Let me move my computer closer. Oh. All right, guys, this is gonna be an exciting one. Um, I'm excited because I'm gonna be doing something special during this live. I already see some questions. One sec, one sec. I'm gonna stop right there. Um, I'm gonna announce why this live is gonna be exciting and a lot different. Um, and I'll announce that about 10 minutes in just so that way I can get more people to kind of um, hear the news. So, and this is going to be beneficial for you guys, just so you know, hang on. Uh, <laughs> um, hang on. As someone says, how does it feel to be rich over the weekend? Uh, it's, it's not really, it's not really that easy. <laughs> Um, and surprisingly, I make more with e-com. <laughs> Actually, if you, if you want the honest answer, the, the e-com stores are crushing it. Like today, especially, um, like are crushing it. Uh, it, like I think things are going to explode uh, like crazy. So, I mean, e-commerce has been doing really well. If you guys want to hear the contrast of what I think about like digital products, you know, like courses versus like e-commerce, I can give you a full, oops, I can give you a full little breakdown um, because selling like digital and less, you know, I'm, I like it because I like talking to people and um, it's kind of the next step for me in order to further my learning by teaching. But e-commerce is 100% easier because like you, there's no, like it's, it's very easy to automate. The personal brand you can't automate. It's actually the opposite. So, <laughs> Jebster got it right. Yeah, yeah. Charlie, the Roas is insane today. Yes. Who else got that email? Who got the email when I sent that out? Um, because things are going crazy. Things are going crazy, especially for e-commerce. Um, hang on. What is the minimum budget for Google Ads? I think a minimum budget, even just for starting your business, should be at least $700. What's your advertising budget split on platforms? 50%. Oh man, actually, uh, it depends. I, I usually will just go 100% with Google, and then um, lately, honestly, I've been doing, after three days of Google, I'll just go straight into Facebook as well. So I split it. Do I run one product stores somewhat? It's more of a niche store. Minimum budget I suggest for Google ads, um, still 700. I mean, I don't recommend having less just because you need some time to test. Started my branded business and used your vids to start uh, ads. Now just trying to increase my ROAS, that's awesome. Hey Charlie, what happened to your IG? Uh, I, I, I've said it before, it's just, I'm, I'm trying to get it back. I, a little mishap, but it'll, it, I'll get it back guys, don't worry. Um, Maru who keeps answering. He's like, hey, does your course have the 100K store profit in 10 days and how did you do it? Um, no, so the course doesn't show that store, um, but I mean, it's not about like how many, there's actually, you see multiple live case studies inside the program. So it's very helpful, but it's not about like how many different winning products you can see. It's about um, understanding the winning process. I mean, it's just about understanding the pattern. So um, if you're looking just to, find as many winning stores like that's not going to help you like understand the winning process behind it so you know the course is deeper than just showing like case studies it goes everything step by step so it's it's a really good mix um, and that's why people are getting crazy results sorry hang on 
that's why people are getting absolutely insane results. It's just, once you understand the patterns, you can crush it. I did the Facebook group sign up thing, said check my email in 10 minutes, but never got anything. I'm not sure why. <laughs> Jeremy says my store is hitting super good sales today too. That's awesome. <clears throat> Someone asked what credit card I use. I use Amex Business Gold Card, yeah. Representing from the UK, what's up my man? How long would it take Google to finish its review if you add a new product to your store? Uh, it depends because it can go over the weekend and weekends are slower. I've been, yeah. it depends. Look at least like three business days. What was easier, Google or Facebook? Uh, Google. But I mean, both of them are good. Like Google like is easier to start and start seeing traction and then you can ramp it up with Facebook. Um, of course, you could still sit on Google and I've hit like 5K to 7K net profit days with just Google ads. Now I've, but uh, now I've had other students pass that and so it's kind of crazy. Um, have I ever tried FBA? I haven't. You said you won't do another launch again. Will there ever be a 3.0, 4.0? Yes, but that'll be included with your guys's, like, so when you guys enroll, you guys will already get the 3.0, the 4.0, whenever it's created. So it'll always be updated, but when I say I don't wanna do another launch again, I'm saying like, I don't wanna like, you know, hey guys, I'm hyping it up. Here's the YouTube videos. Oh, don't forget to sign up. Like, it was, it was very kind of, um, intense but i wanted to do it because guys this is the best offer like i'm never offering this this course for this low of a price ever again like you guys are getting all the data every single mistake i've ever made you'll be able to see over my shoulder and see what made this a winning store how i turned it around what other students are doing like i break down everything so that way when you do spend your first dollar you'll be at an expert level level um versus you know just kind of guessing and not being fully confident should I sign up again? No, if you already bought the course, you don't have to sign up again. Is the course overwhelming uh, for me uh, or for people that take it? <laughs> What's the secret to finding winning pro, oh shoot, sorry. I keep clicking and then I lose my, um, hang on. What's the secret to finding winning products and trends before they peak? Uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a tough one. I mean, you're, you're pretty much trying to play a prediction game and that's, that's been a tough skill set for people for many years. I mean, if you get good at that, you just get good with like understanding the market. I guess one thing I could suggest is common sense. So understand the market and understand where it's going. And then like, for example, if we knew like the coronavirus would get here when it was only in China, and then we looked and we're like, okay, if it's here, what's gonna happen? Oh, okay, everyone's gonna be in quarantine, like how you know, China had to be in quarantine, right? And so like, oh, what do people do in the quarantine? Oh, they, you know, they're gonna wanna work out because the gyms will be closed. Like if you can think like that, like it almost feels like seven steps ahead. Oh boy. People were making an absolute killing in the fitness industry. Um, your first, your first year was 600K profit or revenue? Um, my first year was, I don't know how much profit. Um, I think my first year was around 240 or maybe 200 in profit. I'm not sure. I need to, uh, don't quote me on that one. Do I run a general store or a niche store? Guys, I run a niche store. It's funny I get that question because I've, I, th I feel like I've said it so many times on um, my YouTube channel, but I guess some people are maybe new here. <clears throat> but it's crazy how popular general stores are. Like I would think like, okay, maybe like people are catching on like it's dead. <clears throat> Sorry guys, hang on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hang on. Charlie, this is very important to me. Please answer. I must open LLC to start business so I can test many products, but I have high budget, 10K. Do you think I could pick product with no testing? With no testing? Oh man. <laughs> How you, I mean, you gotta, you gotta test the product. 
Um, I mean, you're gonna pick a product before you test it, but once you pick it, you gotta test it. It's not like you're gonna just like buy it in bulk. I hope I didn't read that wrong, but yeah. <sighs> How can we open our thinking to know that there are so many products to sell and competition isn't saturating things? How to not have a limiting mindset? Well, <clears throat> sorry guys. Um, you're going to have a lim limiting mindset when you start off. So it's hard. Like I can't say like, don't have a limiting mindset. And the reason why is because if you're just beginning, like you haven't really had any success yet. So like there's absolutely 0% chance you're going to just be like, oh, everything's so abundant because you haven't hit success yet. So once you start hitting success, you're going to start really understanding how, like how abundant, I guess things can be. And you'll be like, okay, you know what? There's actually a lot of opportunity here. How much will the course be after the launch? This is a good question, and guys, please pay attention to this. After the launch, the course will be $2,000. Do not, like, please do not delay. This is like, when I'm, you know, I'm spending my time literally trying to help you guys, trying to like push you guys over the edge because some of you guys really need to make the commitment. And then there's another handful of you guys that, you know, honestly should probably just, you know, not make the commitment because, you know, you don't have, you know, $700 saved up for your business. And so I'm trying to, you know, honestly tell you guys like, look, this is, if you believe in the strategies, if you followed my channel, if you've seen, you know, all the, you know, the videos and it clicks with you, if it clicks with you, then commit. If it doesn't, and that's okay, then just, I still suggest you should look into a mentor or a coach um, and look into someone else that clicks with you. Maybe, you know, maybe you want to try, I don't know, Pinterest ads or, you know, different way of doing Facebook ads or something. But, you know, Facebook ads is in this course as well. So, you know, and, and it works really, really well. Like the Facebook ads, I, I wish I would have made more videos on my YouTube channel to show you guys the different strategies I use with Facebook, but it, it's killer. It is a very budget friendly strategy for Facebook in order to be like data driven. <clears throat> Hang on. Charlie, quick question. Does your store strategy work on stores with multiple products? Yeah, sure does. Will there ever be a sale like this again in the future? No, I'm not gonna, this is the one time I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Damn, hang on one sec, guys. Let me drink some water. Uh, probably should have done this before the live. Ah, oh, God, help. <laughs> hang on. All right, I gotta click on the screen so I could find your chats. There we go. How do you find, <coughs> how do you find e-commerce mentors? It's tough. I mean, you can look around on YouTube and see who you click with and see if you can connect with them. Or, uh, by connecting, I mean like pay because that's typically the best way. I mean, I'm a big fan of that. I mean, that's, that's what I did. So I paid for consulting. I paid for even consulting with different agencies to figure this out when I was first starting out. And then I, of course I paid for courses. I paid for the course, but I didn't receive a confirmation email. If that happens, that's fine. Sometimes for whatever reason, ClickFunnels just likes to play games. And so just email support. I mean, support's been absolutely incredible. Um, they've been really helping out. Does your course include your store as example, also Google or IG? Yeah, so it, it does include the store as an example and you will see inside the Google ads. Um, da, 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 da. <laughs> I get a lot of questions on budget. So, you know, I kind of said that in the beginning of the live. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more. Hang on guys, scroll, scroll, scroll. <clears throat> Can you show your live profits today? That'd be so inspiring. Um, yeah, I, I mean, honestly, no, probably not. The way I would have to do it is flip this phone, which will make everything look inverse, like backwards. And then I'd have to like somehow log in without showing the store. So I might have to not do that. <laughs> but I could actually send it out in an email and just record it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm definitely gonna invest with you even when the price goes up. Well, don't do it when the price goes up. There's no point. Uh, 
I'm trying to do this because you guys are the core subscribers. That's exactly why I'm doing this sale. <clears throat> Jesus. <laughs> do you ever run into any legal issues? I mean, yeah, there's always going to be issues that you'll run into when you're starting out and you don't have much guidance. And that's what happened when I was starting out. So, Can we find a supplier in your course? Okay, so you're going to find out how to find a supplier, but it's not like I'm going to have like a supplier that can create every single product in the world perfectly. That's not really how suppliers work. Suppliers are very focused on like one niche, if not one product. So like if you're finding a supplier in the dog niche that makes like, I don't know, these dog leashes, you know, you might not even, that supplier might not even make like a dog, you know, GPS tracker, but it's like in the same niche. So like you need a different supplier for each product. What do you recommend for getting the right mindset, um, getting into e-commerce and then being very persistent and just, I don't know, stacking up little wins until you stack up your confidence and that becomes very important. Uh, and then you'll start getting addicted and you'll probably start just winning. How much is the course? So the course right now is 697. So 697. Okay, hang on. Where is the link to your course? So um, I'll put it in the chat. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little bit of the announcement. <coughs> One sec. And I'm actually gonna put it in the chat. So let me log on real quick. Hang on. <laughs> Did I ever think about making a fitness channel? I did before, a long time ago. <laughs> Can I start with a $200 budget and be profitable? No, you need, I, I mean, could you and be lucky? Yes, but I, I never suggest that. I think like, look guys, if you're gonna start a business, you need to have money saved up. Like there's no way you're just gonna go and fall on, like it's gonna be hard to have a good mindset when you only have $200 and you're like this and you're watching your ads super closely and you're like, oh, there's no way this is a winner. Turn it off, uh, turn it off. And then you're like, okay, business doesn't work. And then you just wasted $200 when you could have just spent a little bit. You're gonna cripple your own success if you don't have enough money. What do I think about Kickstarter? I think it's fine. I mean, if you're talking about product ideas or, well, actually, hmm, niche ideas, I guess. All right, hang on. I get this question a lot. What's the difference between 1.0 to 2.0? Um, guys, the 1.0 was the beta version. Um, and also, oh, I should have charged it. Oh, well, hang on. Um, and the 1.0, it's not like, you know, it's cheaper or anything. You, you guys get the 1.0 and the 2.0 together. Um, and if you want like the 1.0 by itself, like it was selling for $1,700. So would you do a two payment option to pay for your course? All right, guys. So that's kind of the news right now. So during this live, what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow a two pay for the program. Okay. So now you can get the, the program for 397 and it's a two pay. So you pay 397 and then the next month, you're gonna pay 397, okay? So that's what's happening right now and I'm allowing it only during this live. So I will put down, hang on, Charlie, hang on. Gotta find one sec, one sec. Okay, I'm gonna drop the link in here. And that's gonna be kind of the, oops. That's gonna be the big deal right here. Okay, so there's the link. Eric says, what's up, Charlie? What is up? So yeah, so you're gonna have the two pay option now um, and that is gonna be available just for like the rest of this live. I know a lot of people have been asking and so um, I probably should have sent an email about it but I, it's not gonna stay up for that long um, but it will be technically cheaper to do the 697. So um, you're gonna save like $90 doing the one pay but the two pay is paid over like two months. So I don't know. Um, it's by far, you know, that's, that's the last like kind of dealio. 
but let me know what other questions you guys have and um, what questions do you guys have if you're sitting on the fence right now I'm just curious for some people um, for some people that are just like kind of on the fence of hey is this program gonna work is it gonna be for me like what are your guys's questions because I'm kind of curious mm. I'm trying to <laughs> Lomo says I'm poor <laughs> funny how many competitors is too many for Google Ads well you're gonna see a lot of listings for Google Ads but I mean how many people are actually good at Google Ads <laughs> so I mean if you see a, a ton of wish listings a lot of drop shippers it's not gonna be fun how do you scale Google Ads target CPA um, well, first, you do put it at target CPA if you would like, but make sure that you don't put it at too low of a CPA if you want to um, get results because you'll throttle your results. I've seen that actually a couple times. Uh, if Amazon and Walmart have your product for half the price, is it worth it? Yeah, if, unless you're advertising the same exact product as like Walmart, like literally the same look, feel, like everything then, I mean, you still could if you rank it to the top and just get people to land on your page. How do you find objections with your product? That's funny. I don't know. Uh, uh, uh. Will I offer a paid mentorship program to course students? So Josh is asking if I'll offer something like a, like an extra, like private mentorship. You're at. It's pretty like it's pretty much like um, like a mastermind, right? We'll see. Because there's already a private VIP Facebook group that is like a mastermind, but you're you're asking I think for the one level up, where it's like we we meet live, like we're literally like going to. I don't know, an event like, hey guys, we're going to Newport Beach, we're meeting here, it's an event, um, things like that, right? Hey, does your preferred dollar 3PL ship to Latin America? Um, you can ask them. They would be better than me answering that. Mm -mm -mm. How to find good products and decent shipping? Uh, talk to a lot of different suppliers and do a lot of different searches. It's actually not that hard. I mean, I don't, I, I think more people are scared of it than actually are trying to find a solution for it. So I, I honestly get really confused because I'm doing it every day and I have students doing it and I just don't, I don't understand. I don't know who, like it's just like this big fear. And then watch, watch what will happen. People will be like, Oh, China is bad. Don't don't order anything from China. It's all about, you know, finding stuff only from the US or whatever. And then all these big companies are laughing. They're like, okay. <clears throat> Does Newport Beach have good nightlife? I'm in Santa Monica. Um, yeah, I mean, Newport Beach is actually pretty cool. But uh, I would say if you're looking for a nightlife, like you can't really, hang on, sorry can't really beat Arizona because it's so weird like in Arizona like the biggest thing here is just like everyone wants to go out and go to you know what's called Old Town um, but Newport is so different it's it's very dynamic and fun and it still is I mean it's still pretty crazy can you drop ship from eBay sure there's a lot of people that do that should I stay away from the product that lists on wish yeah hmm I noticed a lot of people are talking about wish, 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 wish. If you say a lot of wish and dropshippers aren't fun and you're looking to be with brands, isn't that a lot of competition? No, you don't, you don't want to compete with like, you don't want to be selling a posture corrector. Um, if you look at my YouTube, I explained it really well. Um, it's like, you know, are you going to sell a posture corrector? No, like it's, it's really like it's competitive. There's wish, there's dropshippers. But if there's a legitimate brand, like I showed on my YouTube, like this like cool kind of rocker board for toddlers. And it's like, hey, that's a branded looking product. It's not really on Wish. Like it, it, it's a totally different look and feel. So it's something that might be hard to explain, I guess. 
oh, one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Look, one-on-one -on -one mentorship is only good if like, like if you have a business that is doing like 70 grand a month and you need to take it to the next level and you're reaching like these high level issues. But if you're, if you're trying to get to like 10 grand a month or 30 grand a month, then this is what the program is for because that way you literally can watch everything step by step and set up from the ground up. There's nothing that you would learn more on a one-on-one -on -one -on -one mentorship that you know would be any more valuable unless you're trying to go to like just to the moon and even then like the course can take you to 50 grand 70 grand like there's people doing 200 grand a month inside the program so um, I just say the lower numbers because it's easier to I guess believe but there's people doing crazy numbers inside the course and it's I mean everyone has you know the they just follow what's inside the program and use, you know, the, the Facebook VIP mastermind. Uh, had my first, hey, had my first thousand dollar month. Thank you for the content. That's awesome. Congratulations. That is really good. It's really, it's typically pretty hard to get your first sale, but then once you get that, it gets the ball rolling. Hey, Newport. <laughs> Is it okay to test five to, eight pro five to eight products in a shopping 30 day budget, $30 per day budget? Um, that is really low. <laughs> mm -mm, I wouldn't do that. Okay, hang on, let me scroll down a little bit more. I wonder if Matt Day is on. I haven't seen him really pop up. Uh, hang on. How do you find perfect photos or videos for all the products when you have a lot of different products? Um, you're gonna have to you know, use the same tools that a lot of people use, like whether you're gonna use Photoshop and create your perfect photos or go to Fiverr. Um, it's a broad question. And also like you don't really have to find perfect photos either. Uh, you could also take photos of your product if you just order one sample. What cars do I own? I only own one car. So I own a BMW i8 and I don't drive it. So it's very useful. It's amazing. It sits in the garage. I don't do anything with it. It was a great investment. <laughs> what do I think of dogs and pet niche? I think it's great. Link to course, Matt Knight. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna link to the program. Um, yeah, guys, sorry, I'm trying to scroll through and answer as many questions. I was really curious to know what, like what, you know, what was holding you back on some, like some of you guys are like, what's holding you back for, you know, committing? I was just curious. Like, what is it like, hey, you know, does it have, product research or something. That was the biggest one. Um, <laughs> why does every influencer have an I8? Because I just got really popular. That's why. I8s are just like, they, they look really cool and truthfully they're not that expensive. So that's why a lot of people get them. I'm probably gonna, I don't know, we'll see. General store or niche store? Um, and what do I explain in the course? I explain how to do a niched store. Uh, that's, it's what's having, everyone's having success with that um, inside the program and that's what I've literally scaled to the moon with. <laughs> um, how is competition with Google when you are competing against actual companies? you want to compete with actual like legitimate companies it's a lot easier because the legitimate companies aren't necessarily the best at google <laughs> how did it feel when i got my first winning product um it was an unexpected because i remember i tested it first on facebook and it didn't work and so when i tested it on google and it worked it was amazing Do you, do you always use Alibaba to drop ship? No. So 
Alibaba I usually buy in bulk. So uh, if I wanted to drop ship, I usually use AliExpress. Or, I mean, honestly, I'll just I'll just have an agent. Like, I don't mind upfronting. Like, you know, hey, let's just get thirty or sixty units. Let's just test um, because I pretty much know like what's gonna sell. I'll be able to kind of market my way and just kind of force it to sell out of the units if I need to. Um, once you start understanding e-commerce a little bit better, it's not that hard to guess what is gonna like sell. There's a lot of levers you can push to sell a product, guys. Like when you start really crushing it with your landing page and you understand like what data to look at for the ads, um, it becomes a lot easier just to like move product um, and you'll start seeing like, oh, okay, you know, this is the landscape I need. Uh, this is unsaturated or this is, you know, high demand. Has product research changed <clears throat> from number one? Uh, no. I'm not sure what you mean by that. What theme to use, what to sell in Q4? That's a tough one. I don't know what you should sell in Q4, but Q4 you should start thinking about for sure. You need to start testing now. So Q4, I am really, really, really excited. Dude, I wish we could put hearts on like YouTube lives where we could do like hearts and you know, likes. Dang it. Hang on, I'm gonna put the link again. <laughs> I see some people putting hearts, that's funny. Awesome. You guys are funny. <laughs> you can. Um, okay, hang on, hang on. Sorry, let me scroll. Da, 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 da. What's a good CTR to go for? I don't really look at a CTR that I'm like necessarily looking to hit. That's not, I'm looking for sales. Um, and the best way is just by being really relevant with Google. Facebook and Google are totally different. Like Facebook, you are looking for CTR because you don't know, <coughs> like you don't know what's resonating with that audience. With Google, you're targeting people that already are searching for your product. So, yeah. Um, should I have five products in this store and just keep what sells? Um, yeah. <laughs> Someone did some funny font. Uh, Google ads first or Facebook ads? Uh, I do Google ads first and then Facebook. So I always set up my Google ads first, run it, and then, oops, and then uh, I'll scale it with Facebook ads. So I do both. Do my Google ads strategies work? Wait, do your Google ads strategies from older videos still work well? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure it does. I haven't looked at my older videos on YouTube, but I mean, people still get results all the time from just watching the YouTube videos. It's a little bit more of a jungle, but I mean, I do try to put out at least something to help you guys, right? Uh, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> What's my criteria when trying to find a product? That's really hard to just explain all in one live because um, typically it's to show examples and contrast examples. Um, but I mean, let me see if I could at least look one, one criteria though, is when it, whenever you're finding a product, make sure that it just has, it's not just like flooded with drop shippers. That's number one. I like to see that there is some branding potential. Like, do I see a long-term vision with this product? Like, can I really make it into a legitimate brand? Like that is one big thing that I personally look for. Now, some people are just like, oh, this is trending. Like I can make quick money now. Like, and that's fine, but that's not what I necessarily look for. Okay. What are metrics to look at to determine a winning creative? So if you're talking about Facebook, the biggest thing you want to look at is first of all, your CTR. Yes. Like if you have a unique CTR link click, of 1.5% when you first launch your ads, like that is important. Um, I've noticed that being a good sign. Uh, the next thing is cost per ad to carts. Like, look, when you first launch your ads, you should get sales. Like, if you don't have sales within your first 24 hours of launching ads and you have at least 12 different ad sets, then there's something wrong because you, sh you should have sales. Like, 
yes, even on day one, doing a conversion campaign. But if you don't have a data focused like kind of approach and you're doing a shotgun approach, then it could take, you know, a couple days of just spending aimlessly. So, um, hang on, sorry. Someone asked me what my bench press is. Uh, my bench press on a good day uh, for the max is 315. So that's like three plates on each side. I think the Ionic Detox foot bath is ridiculous, but it works. That's awesome. <laughs> I think what you mean is like it, it looks ridiculous, but you think it actually works? Like it actually helps? One sec. Uh. 338. 338. Is it, guys, is it nighttime where you guys are? <laughs> Dylan Camby said 315. I know, dude. I, I freaking, we need to do another 315. <laughs> um, yeah, so for people that bought the beta course, um, you can email support and one by one eventually we'll enable your account to get also the update, but it'll be after the um, launch. Hey Charlie, how do you set up Stripe? It looks like Shopify, Shopify made it so changing address to France no longer works. Uh, you can change your address to any other, like change it to something else then. Um, I'm not surprised that they made it not work anymore. It kind of makes sense. So. I've heard that Facebook is almost double in cost from last year. Is this true? Yes. Don't touch Facebook. It is not profitable at all. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. No, I mean, if you got my email today, my ads are literally at 11 ROAS on Facebook. It's insane. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe less dropshippers will be on Facebook and just kind of leave. <laughs> because... You don't want a lot of those spammy dropshippers. It's not the competition that I worry about. Like, understand that the competition isn't like at all what I worry about for these dropshippers. It's them scamming customers and then giving the customers now this doubt to trust other stores. That's why when inside the course, I show you guys how to customize your, your store totally different to where it literally looks nothing like a dropshipping store. That's the biggest thing I worry about. I don't, I, I just don't want to get my store confused with any other dropshipper. <clears throat> oh, awesome. Daniel said, Charlie, absolutely loving the course. It's exactly what I hoped for and it was worth every penny. Thanks. That is awesome. I wish I can like it. Um, oh, dang it. I can't even like it. That's not cool. Thank you, Daniel. Mm-hmm. It's, oh, okay, some people are answering. So 5.38, it's 2 a.m. there. It's 7.40 p.m. where this person is. One o'clock, 11 p.m., 1 a.m. Matt did value bonds. <laughs> What's up, my man? I'm glad you're on, I was wondering. <clears throat> it's 10 p.m., 10 p.m., damn, a lot. Of, oh, so it's nighttime or early in the morning. That is so crazy. That is so cool that literally we can all hang out and it's just like, a flick of a button, just like, okay, YouTube going live. That's so crazy. Eventually what I'm going to do is literally have like a live meetup in Newport. If I can get, I'll, I'm going to send an email. Eventually this is going to be later down the road. If I get a hundred people to say, yes, I'm going to do it. Um, it'll be a free live meetup. If I get a hundred people to do it, I'm going to do it. Where literally we'll just meet up in Newport. I don't know eat food like I'll literally just buy like a catering service and we'll just like hang out I think that would be so fun and then I'll make a YouTube video out of it, out of it. <sighs> Charles I have money to buy the course but if I need any help can I contact you yeah so you have actually an easy way to contact me and that's by posting inside the VIP Facebook group so it's not like you know you're gonna have my phone number there's no point uh, the point of even the course is just to make sure that you can go step by step and copy what I do. Um, and there's no way I can explain it better than that, like how, you know, how I explain in, in the course. I don't know if you heard the other person, but he was very excited. He joined 
once you join, you'll see, like, once you even join inside the Facebook group, like, it's insane. People are, like, posting, like, I love it. Like, this is great. You know, I'm so happy I made the commitment. Another person is hitting eight figures. Just joined the course, though. So, like, meaning, you know, this is not from the course, but they are very experienced entrepreneurs. So now we're getting experienced people inside the program helping others. So I love it. Um, it's, it's really dynamic. Like, we're getting you know, even rather big YouTubers inside the program. Like it's crazy. Like it's becoming a real mastermind where like there's a difference between being in a free Facebook group and, you know, hearing like failure, 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 failure of like, oh, wow, you know, everything's a fail. Like on a Stripe is evil, PayPal is evil. And all it is is negativity. And then you go inside a group like this and it's all like motivation and striving for greatness. Like it's, it's crazy, it's a lot different. And I think it's essential. Like I said before, I've always been a big fan of, of programs and courses, but some people hate it. And I, you know, I knew that from day one when making a YouTube, I knew some people just you know, were not big fans and that's fine. You know, that's why I have free content. But I knew like, there, just look at the history, like who, everyone who becomes successful, they have to buy their way in. So they have to buy for mentors. They have to learn the smarter way to do things. And it pays back tenfold. And plus, you can write it off for taxes. <laughs> um, will your program help with launching a clothing brand with your marketing strategies? Yeah, we can launch anything. Add, okay. This person's saying focus on MLM and MMO niche interesting how do I manage multiple Google and Facebook ad accounts for multiple sites without getting suspended by separating each account with a different card and a different address and a different like like everything is separated people get screwed when they just try to put like multiple stores under you know one like card like you got to have a business card too hang on is full store design in your course? Yes. Charlie, I'm set, wait, what? I'm seven years old. Oh, guys, listen to this. Hey, Charlie, I'm seven years old, and I bought your course with my dad's credit card, and now I'm hitting $112,000 in revenue. Thank you, bro. I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> so what, you, wait, you bought... You're, you're not saying you just bought the course, right? Like you bought the beta version? Is that what you're saying, Bert? What? I don't know, that's crazy. How many of you guys think that's real? Comment again, Bert, if that's what you meant. <clears throat> Do you need PayPal because they have reserved 10,000 from me and I'm thinking of removing it? Uh, you can remove it, I have it. They have my money reserved too. I have like 30 grand reserved. <laughs> so, does the course have how to set up and outsource tasks? Yep. Oops, I keep clicking. Sorry guys. Hey, let me scroll all the way down. I wanna try to hit like the 100% real. <laughs> Seven years old, sounds legit. Do you think a 16 year old can make it in this business? Yeah. <laughs> Some people are like, ha ha ha. Uh, where's your course and how much is it? Okay, I'm gonna drop the link again. Um, you guys should have the link inside you know, the email every time I drop it. Um, every time I drop an email. There's, there's a link for the program. Let me see real quick. Um, one sec. How many people have signed up so far? Um, I honestly haven't counted. Uh, it's not been like highest on my list. I've just been trying to make sure everything's been going smoothly. Cool. Well, removing... <laughs> Matt did doing work. 
Uh, well, removing PayPal impact conversions. I think it will, but some people say no, but dude, some people love PayPal. What is your rule when it comes to splurging slash treating yourself? Ooh, you wanna know what I do? All right, this is a good question, yes. Um, what I really like to do is I just use my points, my credit card points. So like I have like a million points right now. So that means, you know, I don't know how much money that really translates to, maybe 7,000, maybe, maybe more. Um, so whenever I wanna buy something, I just use like points. Like, you know, if I wanted to buy a new necklace or, you know, I don't know, a watch or whatever. So I just use points and then I save everything else and I just, I don't know. I, I don't know really what to spend the money on yet because I'm thinking, I'm honestly thinking to get a house. I'm thinking to get a house in Newport. And obviously houses in Newport are a little bit more pricey. Hey Charlie, I've purchased the course and I love it so far. I haven't been through the entire course yet. Just want to know if there's any focus on retargeting and scaling. Oh yeah, absolutely. Of course. I'm, I'm really happy that you like it. Um, it's been pretty much a common response I've been hearing, uh, which is good because I added a lot of new videos. Does your program focus on WooCommerce or just Shopify? Shopify. I've done WooCommerce before, guys. Like I've everything I teach, I've always done the opposite too. Like meaning, like I've tr I've tested other things. I, I don't just you know have a favorite for no reason. Um, so you pay up front to the agent, yes. So when you have an agent, you got to pay up front and buy stock up front. It's not like he's gonna just take the risk. So here's what's interesting, and let me close the computer. One sec. So when you're scaling with an agent. You like you're gonna have to like kind of pay almost double a little bit. Like for example, if your product cost is five dollars, well, the agent also you know wants to charge for shipping, right? Because they need to ship the product. And so let's just say the shipping is you know four dollars, and it's going to be an extra dollar to use the agent. So that's another five dollars. So when you're wiring the agent for product costs and just to buy product, it's actually ten dollars per unit that you're going to have to pay up front. So hopefully that makes sense. So instead of you just paying for stock and then as you sell the stock, then you pay for the shipping, right? You are actually paying up front, like kind of double in a way. And so I noticed that when I was scaling during Q4, it was very important to have my cash flow in check. But when I switched then to uh, a US fulfillment center, oh my gosh, it was amazing because it was pretty much like half the, half the kind of upfront cost. And then as I was paying for shipping as I was shipping, I was paying for shipping. <laughs> so Seaside Donuts, baby. <laughs> Funnels, Builderall, eh, no. <clears throat> Did that make sense, guys? Let me know if that was actually interesting. I thought that was pretty, that's an interesting contrast that I noticed with agents, but maybe some agents are different. Like, I don't know. But I think most agents work like that because they're not going to just overbuy stock and, yeah. Have I used ShipBob before? I haven't. I, I only used um, Dollar Fulfillment because they were the best for really everything. There's no likes on the live stream? I see some likes. What are you talking about? Put some likes there then, Jeffster. I think everyone's so into... Uh, Asking questions. <laughs> um, when should you use an agent versus buying bulk 3PL? Uh, it's actually going to be your, your call. If you find that the product is selling consistently, then just do a little product forecast and buy in bulk. I like to buy in bulk. Like It's now like so much cheaper. Oh, I see a lot of people liking. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. Thank you guys. 45 likes. We went from 37, I think, to 46. Oh my gosh, we're gonna break YouTube. All right, hang on. The Facebook part of, so Matt did 
said, the Facebook part of the course is the best out there. Thank you, Charlie. And we're doing 30K on one store from Google Ads because of you, man. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, Matt crushes it. He, you know, him and I are pretty close. So he, he gets the inside scoop on a lot of things. And yeah, he, he crushes it. Hey, man, big fan. That's awesome, Osri. Have I ever tried a general store? Yes, it was like my first failure. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Josh says to sell the car and put it down on a crib. Um, I actually have enough for putting the whatever down. <coughs> have I ever heard of deliver? No. <laughs> I'm the best like advertiser out there. This person, Jeffster, is actually. Yeah, we just got to 62 likes. Good job, guys. Someone said this video, these videos are kind of boring. But he's staying on here. Hmm. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is this boring? Do you guys think this is boring or is it entertaining? Would your course teach how to build a killer store? Well, of course. That's the, that's the point. You can never fail if you never quit, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> hey, let me scroll down. Super, not boring. Kick that boy out of here. <laughs> Dude, that was so funny. Uh, <laughs> hang on, I'm reading through it. This is funny. You guys are hilarious. Entertaining, very interesting. How much is the course? 697. Yeah, making money is so boring. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> this is informative. That's what matters. Entertaining. <laughs> I love it. You guys are funny. Nah, man, you coo. <laughs> guys, look at how many of these questions. This is insane. What would you recommend in the beginning? A general store or a niche store? Holy shit, this is insane. Guys, I recommend a niche store. Niche, 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 niche. I think it's so crazy how big dropshipping got and everyone is doing like this worst way possible. Just these general stores looking like garbage. Dude, there's a lot of people that scam just from these general stores, which is good. I hope those people stay with that style of look. So that way, like every time, I don't know, customers see that, they're like, oh, that's a scam. Oh, this looks like a brand. I've, I've purchased from brands before. Um, link to your course, please. Oh, someone's saying, I'm trying to purchase the course, but it's not processing. So yeah, so there's a little glitch right now where when you log on to the page, give it like 10 or 20 seconds to kind of like load all the way. Um, because especially if you're using credit card, there's a weird little thing that it just, the, the processor behind the scenes, I guess, needs to load. So hang on, let me drop the link again. Charlie, you're the LeBron James of dropshipping. <laughs> That's hella funny. Uh, shoot. All right, my laptop broke, but you know what's funny? Is I'm right in front of my damn computer this whole time and I didn't even really realize it. I was using it for light. Uh, I'm a genius. Okay, hang on. Oh, one sec, guys. One sec. I'm going to get to the chats really soon. Just go ahead and uh, type in what was, what was one thing that you found really helpful that I said on this live? Like, what do you think was actually really helpful and do you think would help you in your business? I'm curious to know because I want to know what are you guys actually struggling with that you know maybe I should talk about right now that could help. Just tuning in now. Someone asked if I'm doing the payment plan. Yes, I'm offering the payment plan like literally just during this live because there's really no point. Guys, it's 697. Like put it on the credit card, roll with it. It's just, it's a no brainer. Like this is an absolute no brainer and you get access to everything. Like it, I, I, someone in the group like did this calculation. You literally need to make like 25 bucks a day profit to like, make up for the course. Like it's, it's, there's a lot packed in. I'm showing you exactly how, how, how I create stores that hit five grand a day in profit, you know, and now I'm hitting 
higher than that <laughs> with other stores. So it's just like, it's worth the investment. It's very worth it. Um, one sec. So, let me, da, 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 da. one sec guys. Do I use Upwork for customer service? No, I use um, PH Jobs. So I wanna know what you guys were struggling with. So let me scroll back up. Start a niche store, yes. Exactly. Picking a niche product. Okay, struggling with KPIs and reading data and where to go with it. Oh, that's interesting, yeah. Um, I mean, I hate to say it, but that's perfect for the course. But yeah, just that's, that's definitely something I see is a good skill. Um, link to the course. Okay, all right, hang on. Um, ba, ba, ba. I think I got it. Let's see. Boom. All right. So I put it down there. Have you recently checked Uber Suggest Chrome extension? No, I haven't. What is it? Like, for what? Charlie, do you go over taxes in the course? No, I do not go over any taxes. It's illegal for me to do that. Um, but what I will say, and this is for you guys, um, use bench.co. I've gone through a lot of people with taxes, a lot of firms. I have a company that does, do it. yeah, so use bench.co. I think I just, I think I just need to sign up. Didn't know of a course. Yeah. Da, da, da. <laughs> hey, Charlie Brown. Not my last name. Uh, what's your opinion on CPMs on Facebook at the moment? They're sky high. Oh my God, I'm getting forty to one hundred fifty dollars CPMs. Uh, okay. If your page score, here's what's, I don't know if this is real, we'll see. If your page score is garbage and it's getting lower as it approaches the week and you think you, like, you haven't been shipping, you are, I don't know, running into issues, I think Facebook does preemptive CPM spikes. So my, my CPMs have been getting better and I've been improving a lot on product quality and everything because whenever you test a new product, there's always gonna be issues. Like, you know, I preach a lot like, oh, I have a good uh, feedback score. So some of my stores have like a four point whatever, like it's really high. But another store had like a, it, it was like a 2.4, like it was really low. And so now it's creeping back up. So hang on. When does the sale end? I'm gonna be announcing that, but I am gonna end the sale soon just because, um, you know, there's there's a limit to this. And a lot of you guys, like, you should kind of know if you're, if you're gonna hop in. Um, you know, there's, there's really not a better time. Like, I, I don't know what else to even say. Like, you guys have seen the YouTube channel. You know this thing is gonna be packed. Like if you like the YouTube videos, like this is like the YouTube videos on steroids, but with actual like step-by-step -step content. The YouTube videos is like me dancing around saying like, okay, here's what's going on. Like, look, 100K in 10 days or, you know, 50K a month or, you know, it's all just, that's what YouTube is. It's, it's a hype platform and then I translate it into value. A course is, okay guys, we're gonna cut the fluff and we're gonna go straight into the details. Here's, why, here's what's working and why. So there's a big, big distinction and I think you'll see that very soon. I started a store that was getting me $70, $70 CPMs to the big four, why is that? Because your ad creative is probably really bad or the product. Bro, I'm from Yemen, which is a country in the Middle East. Would you recommend me to start dropshipping? Of course. I mean, it doesn't matter where you are. It matters where you dropship and send the product, right? So like, it's not like you are gonna be sitting in Yemen, you know, shipping product. Like it's gonna be someone either in China or if you don't wanna work with China, you could do someone in the US. Um, it's up to you. <laughs> Jesse Burke says on module one right now, that is awesome. Do I plan on doing this every day? No, I'm not gonna be doing lives every day. How many people are in the course? 
Um, I would need to check inside the Facebook group, but I think at least either 500 or closer to 600 maybe. I need to see. I haven't been, you know, counting. Um, there's a lot of, you know, issues to manage. <laughs> Alaya says, Charlie, make a fish finder uh, t-shirt if I ever consider merch. If I ever consider merch, I would want to make it really cool. <laughs> Someone said, because of this business model, I got sued for a million euros. What did you do with this business model? <laughs> I would be very curious. It's very entertaining. I'm having lunch while watching. Yes. Matt did said, who else here is in the 2.0 course? Charlie for president. Yes. I would do a terrible job as president. I don't have any knowledge of that stuff. Do I have any deals on the course? I think so. The deal is happening right now. <laughs> How often do you do lives in the VIP group? It's going to be bi-weekly. Purchase last night. Awesome, man. <laughs> Would you recommend Google Ads for a new product which the customer is not searching for, is not introduced to yet as it's a fairly new product? You could try it. I mean, there's no harm in trying. I'm always surprised at what works. So it's not like I'm like the god of like predicting exactly what's about to work. Is it too late to get into Google Ads? No. <laughs> Guys, Google Ads is working like crazy. Did, who's on the email list? Did anyone get the email? I literally even said like today, like the Google Ads is at like a 13 return on ad spend. It's been insane. The average though is like a six, which is profitable, right? Very profitable. So I don't, yeah, I don't know where like the doubts come from. Umar. So Yumar said, what more will the 2.0 teach me that the 1.0 hasn't taught me? Yumar, are you in the program? Because if you are, you would know like the answer to that. Um, the difference between 1.0 and 2.0. Okay, guys. The 1.0 is kind of like the beta version where people like got in. There was a handful of videos. Uh, it was pretty good, and there's obviously going to be questions and then once there was questions I put it on a list and then I made all those videos to answer those questions and I filled in all the gaps then I went in and I was like okay what other what's new right now that needs to be added to this course so then I went through and I added more videos and then I added Facebook ads and then I added different case studies and so that is what 2.0 is 1.0 was the beta version so all the results that you saw when you guys were you know going through the landing page it's, it, that was from the beta version. So people were getting insane results because the concept is there. So if you, you know, if you're worried like, what if I have a question or anything? I'm like, you're probably not gonna have too many questions. It's already been trailblazed from people just like you. And if you do have a question, it's probably like gonna be answered in video, the next one, right? The next video that you watch. So what's my opinion on weed and drinking? Uh, I think that it's, Definitely a distraction. I mean, there's a time and a place for it, like sure. Um, you know, I don't, I don't smoke weed. <laughs> so it's hard for me to kind of give an opinion on that. But if, you know, I know that people stay the way, successful people tend to really just stay away from that. <laughs> Nam P said, my payment went through. Yes. Welcome to the program, my man. You're gonna absolutely love it. Average cost for testing a product. It could be $400, it could be mm, around 400 bucks, but that doesn't mean you just waste 400 bucks, you'll get sales. At least you should if you do it right. Do you need to watch 1.0 before 2.0? 
No. So like it's all put together. Like there's no like separate courses. It's all in one. It's it's literally it's it's in sequence. That way you can watch every video in sequence. I don't know if maybe I'm going to change the name to just like the complete course because it's not like 1.0 is Google ads, but 2.0 is only Facebook ads and you had to have bought 1.0 way back when. Like that's not it doesn't work like that. Do I use any US suppliers or manufacturers? Yes. Can I, can I please talk about Facebook ad creatives? Yeah, I mean, they're very important. Um, but what do you wanna know specifically about Facebook ad creatives? There's definitely a lot of like, um, people are starting to understand that Facebook ad creatives are becoming very important uh, for just scaling in general. Uh, but the, also the, the way you put together the Facebook ad, the way you put the script, the way even you, you do your transitions, like there's a certain kind of flow that you want with your, with your creatives. Like you need to have a really good hook. You need to also then show the product right after. And then right after that, you need to show all the benefits. The benefits need to be, <laughs> okay, this, this guy is asking, hang on. Um, oh my God, I missed it. But you need to have everything in sequence for your creatives, okay? So at the end, you can have the offer, but the actual imagery of your product needs to be really good. It can't, like more, more and more people like that HD quality look, okay? It definitely looks a lot more trustworthy. <laughs> What are, what are my go-to logo dimensions? Um, it, <laughs> that's a tough one. It depends, I guess, if I'm doing a, a logo for what, mobile or desktop. <laughs> On a new scaling shopping campaign, how long should it take before sales again? Uh, it can take, honestly, another week. Hang on, let me scroll down. Recently saw your YouTube, but have to check this out. A little skeptical to be honest, because all seem to hear about is failures. Would be good if you had a way to track student success rates. All you seem to hear is, is failures? <laughs> From where? Um, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Um, Hang on one sec. Uh, how do I, <laughs> how do I know you're not a fake guru? You, you don't, you don't have to believe me. <laughs> you should know who's a fake guru very easily. If you don't, then just keep watching YouTube videos, test, see who you trust. If you don't trust me, that's okay. You could trust someone else and go with them and see if they'll, you know, help you. But yeah, I think it's so funny when people kind of ask those things. I'm just like, then just, you know, find someone that you trust. And it is important, like I'm not trying to belittle your question, but you, you look, if what I say doesn't click, then you need to find someone else that their stuff clicks with you. Um, hang on, sorry. Why not use Pinterest advertising for drop shipping? Um, I mean, you can definitely use Pinterest advertising, but if you want something that it's very easy to start seeing success with, that's what I, like Google ads was the easiest success. Like guys, I pretty much didn't know, when I first got into Google ads, I had to try to learn as much as I can, blah, blah, blah. I was really scared um, because I already failed with Facebook ads. And then finally, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try Google ads, like might as well. Um, and it was the easiest to start seeing sales with. So then I got addicted, then I started learning it more and more and more, and I was like, oh wow, it's a lot easier. And then I tested different products, saw the same success, um, and then I started the YouTube. <laughs> Someone said, Charlie's not a guru, he's a grandmaster. <laughs> What's the number one? Okay guys, I'm gonna sign off in like five, six minutes. 
Um, what's the number one skill you attribute most of your success to in e-commerce? Persistence. Um, I think persistence is a skill. So you got to be very persistent in this game and just kind of keep your mind very, very level. Uh, it's hard. It's hard for me because you want to go up and down. You see the sales and you're like, whoa. But you, you can't even, it's, it's so weird to even kind of explain this, but like you almost don't even want to get like happy when you see big sales because it's like, okay, well that seed was planted like a month ago for these big sales. So, you know, what do I got to do in order to get that consistent? So you start kind of having like a more level mindset, if that makes sense, right? What other dropshipping e-commerce gurus would you recommend? Um, it depends on what stage of business you're in. So, I mean, there's plenty of other like good ones. Uh, I mean, I haven't been watching many, honestly. Like I kind of look, I like Josh Elizecchi, guys. If you guys have been following Josh Snow, Josh Snow is really good at what he does. Um, he's definitely one of the best people for mindset, for just understanding like business in general. And so I like to listen to him um, Ezra Firestone is really good. Uh, he's not a dropshipper at all. Neither is Josh. But you, I mean, dropshipping is just a way of fulfillment. It's not a way of sa sales, right? Like, it's a way of fulfillment. So you still can follow the same exact process that other people do, um, even if they have legitimate businesses. <laughs> Someone's asking me, do I think an undergrad business school at a top university is worth it? I can't be the one to give you that life-changing decision, uh, but no. <laughs> I think what's gonna be more worth it is for you to figure out how to hit success on your own and just become self-sufficient in this e-commerce game. All right, guys, I'm gonna sign off um, really soon. This is gonna be one of the last kind of days during this sale. So look, <laughs> someone put a sad face. And so, you know, if you guys haven't already, um, I just dropped the link right now. If you guys have any last minute questions, like look, if you're on the fence, ask your questions right now. I will help, I will, I will answer it. I will tell you, yes, it's a good fit for you. No, it's not a good fit for you. Like go ahead, answer your questions or ask your questions. Sorry, my brain is getting jumbled. Why you leave us trying? <laughs> Uh, why do you give out all this info about Google when it'll be saturated with so many people from your course and channel? Um, that's not the case at all. Like you'd be really surprised. There's, there's so much opportunity with Google. That's like saying like once someone like taught an Amazon course, like back in, I don't know, 2008, like once someone released that Amazon course in 2008, they're like, well, now Amazon's saturated and it didn't get saturated until like, I don't know, 2020. So, um, and yet people still are crushing it on Amazon. I'm surprised, like that is competitive. So like we're literally taking what works on Amazon and putting it into Google ads. So it's, it's insane. So hopefully, does that even make sense to you guys? Like, let me know, does that make sense? <laughs> how many new sites do i launch per month zero so once you get a like a couple winning stores you're not going to want to launch more winning stores every single month you're going to want to focus on that question about the course would you still recommend two month payment plan if i have a thousand i think that's euros thousand euros saved up mm. no i I think you should do the, the bulk. I mean, it's up to you. I, I can't tell you like how to, how to spend your money. I can't. If you have a question about the course, then I can answer it. <coughs> what has a better success rate for new products, Facebook or Google? Uh, I'd say Google. Yeah, Google, <laughs> for sure, actually, now that I really think about it. <coughs> Everything I say makes sense. Good. Um, hang on. 
So Amazon FBA is more competitive than dropshipping. In my opinion, yeah. Mm-hmm. 100%. Plus, you don't even own... You don't really own much. <laughs> you're, you're constantly, like, actually not even competing with FBA or you're competing with your suppliers, really. <coughs> Will there be more courses down the road? Uh, I wouldn't count on it because it's gonna be a little while. <clears throat> Am I making, oh, here's a good question. Am I making more money from selling a course than the profit from dropshipping? No, <laughs> absolutely not. I'm making more from e-commerce and it's a lot easier. So I said this in the beginning of the live, I thought it'd be interesting to even talk about like with e-commerce it is so much easier because you you have your customer service already it's very easy you understand like all the questions all the all the workflow it's simple and you can predict like you spend more money on ads you make more money it's it's so simple with a course it's not like that at all um i know a lot of people will say the exact opposite but this is my experience and you know it's not like i have small launches like they are rather big but still i'll be honest if I had to lose one thing, like if I was like, all right, Charlie, you can only ha either have e-commerce or the course and just live off of that and push that every time, which one would it be? It would be e-commerce all the way. Like I would be like, okay, no more personal brand. Like, you know, cause it's, it's a lot easier to have e-commerce rolling and it's a lot more consistent and it's sellable. Uh, a course is not like you, like you can sell it once, but you can't sell your personal brand. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm seeing a lot of repeat questions. Yeah. See, someone was like, but the info product profit is 90%. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so easy to just put it on paper. Oh, but your margins. No. <laughs> um, question about the course. What do you estimate the success rate will be? I, I, I I estimate that the success rate will be dependent on how well you actually follow the course and go through it. But I'll also say that there's been a lot of success. So it's not like I'm like keeping a tally um, because some people, here's what's crazy. Some people will get the course and just not start it for months. I don't know why. I have no idea. I just don't understand. I get a course and I just start it immediately. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop the link to the program. You guys can look and check it out. This is going to be one of the last times I'm doing this sale. Um, well, actually, let me just step back. This is the only time I'm doing the sale, but this is also the last time I'm doing the uh, payment plan. So um, that's about it, guys. <laughs> I see a lot of questions flooding in. Um, I don't think I'll be able to answer all of them. So, <laughs> hi, bro. Do you use 1280 by 1280 video size Facebook ads for both mobile and desktop? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I've seen him ask that question so many times and I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> Phil just bought the program, awesome. All right, guys, I've already said I was gonna leave so many times. Look, I hope this was really helpful. Um, keep pushing. E-commerce is the best opportunity. It's changed my life. I, you know, I don't even care if you don't get the course. Whatever you do, just I, I personally believe that if you stick with e-commerce and you stick with kind of this progression of how it's growing right now, you're gonna be on a big wave. So there's a reason why I'm still doing it and I put in a lot of time into it. So anyway, guys, all right. Glad you liked the live and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Oh wait, hang on, how do I end it? And, and, and I will say bye after I understand how to end it. Uh, end.